Did you know that you can convert any YouTube video into a Google Slide presentation that you can use with your students? I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. Now you're going to go to frizzteaching.com. You're going to click on the Add Chrome extension. Um, now it is free. There are limited features for the free. And of course, like everything else, if you want to upgrade, then you can, all right? And then you'll have more features. So the other way you can get the extension is by searching in the Google Chrome store and adding it. As you can see, I already have it added. Now you're going to find a YouTube video that you want to use with your students. Um, for instance, I'm a Spanish teacher, so I have a video about La Tomatina. So as you can see, the extension is already there. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click create and I am going to select presentation. Now you do have all these other features you can do, but let's go to presentation and I can pick the language I want. So if this is perfect for us world language teachers. I'm going to leave it in English for now and then you can pick the grade level, etc. So I'm going to say 10th. You can do with images or without. You can do the number of slides. Um, if you click with images, then you have to upgrade. So right for right now, I'm going to click without. Then we're going to click next, and you can scroll again. If you see a little star, that means that is an upgraded um, design that you have to pay for. So I'm going to go with this one because it's free, and I'm going to say brisket, and it's going to create my presentation for me. All right. Okay, so as you can see, here's the presentation. Um, so let's get rid of this so you can see it. So there's the presentation. Now obviously uh, you can add to this, you can edit it, you can turn it into a Google slide. So you can find your own images if you don't want to upgrade or you can pay for the upgrade and they will have you um, done with the presentation. Of course, anytime you're doing things with AI, you want to make sure you're checking it. Now let's take the same YouTube video and create a quiz. So we're going to go right back here, we're going to say create quiz, and let's go there, and again I can say um, pick the language, I can do standard AI, I can create, um, change the grade level, um, multiple choice, short answers, again these are going to also be extra and upgraded, okay? So let's just leave it with 10 questions, we're going to say next, I'm going to create a Google form. So make sure that's selected and you're going to say brisket and it's going to do its thing. All right, so here is our quiz. There it is. So it's making a new one by accident, but that's okay. Um, anyway, this is a quiz and it's got our questions. Again, of course, we can edit this and make it our own. We can take the Google, we can even add the video to, embed the video to our um, Google form and have this give this to our students and created a self-grading quiz so anyway of course make sure you check everything you can edit it make it your own and it is such a time saver so if you're by the way if you're interested in learning how to save at least 10 hours or more per week then make sure you check out my free workshop about how to save time um, it's on the tech for world language teachers blog um, you would just, you know, sign up and you will get instant access to the workshop. It's called Must Have AI Tech Tools for World Language Teachers. And it will literally show you the best tech tools, AI tech tools for World Language Teachers. So you can save at least 10 hours or more per week and also engage your students. All right. I hope you found this useful. Adios.